Well, we made it to Lake Argyle. We did. <laughs> Man, it's actually really pretty here. I'm ready, are you ready? Uh, no. <laughs> Rearranging my noodle. What's funny about that? Why am I being judged by rearranging my noodle? Leave now because of the fire or be prepared to leave everything behind. After our epic three week journey across the Gibb, we stopped into Kununurra, picked up some groceries and made our way out to Lake Argyle. Lake Argyle is one of the largest man-made lakes in the Southern Hemisphere and is actually classed as an inland sea with approximately 10.7 billion cubic metres of water and is also the home to 35,000 freshwater crocodiles. We're in a bus and we're about to go head to Lake Argyle uh, and go on a Suntec cruise. With the cruise. The cruise. We've headed right down to the back of the bus because I'll show you. Someone doesn't fit. <laughs> Great, we're in the middle of the back seat. <laughs> Where, is it? Where are your knees? Out there. <laughs> The sky is blue, the sun is high Sitting here on my own I think of you, you're on my mind, you know To me that's alright Green grass on my neighbor's lawn Maybe I should take a stroll And to me that's alright Big splash, buddy. Yeah. Big splash. Big splash. Animal. Big splash. Animal. Big splash. 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 I'm yeah. oh, oh, acquiring right. other uh, noodles. Yeah, I'll sing this oh, yeah. thing. Okay, go My get heavy ass is sinking. <laughs> go get another noodle then. All right. Your toes are cold now because they're right, right down. Oh, you get the cold spots. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh. The water's colder than my wine. <laughs> How nice is this? Yeah, it's really warm. It's so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. It doesn't really get much better than this, does it? Oh, it's lovely. As you know, we don't usually do experiences like this. No, no, this is un unlike us. We're treating ourselves. Yeah. Beautiful.
Pony. I don't know if they say pony, but like maybe. Oh, Patricia! <laughs> so what happened? How's your drink so full? How's my drink so full? Yep. Well, I was rearranging my noodle. <laughs> And I and I topped up my glass with the dam water. It's fresh. It's fresh it's water. It's fresh water. I was rearranging my noodle. What's funny about that? Why am I being judged by rearranging my noodle? You're not judged. Mental rearranging. But I filled my glass. And I watered it down. Why did it? It's scary. Can I get another refill? It's watered down. It's rubbish now. Uh oh. What? I don't even know what I, what I do with it, man. Drink it. <laughs> no. Can't do it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's gone. Good thing it's not glass. Yeah, it floats. <laughs> so I worked out a way to hold my... Uh, so after filling my cup with um, lake water, <laughs> I figured out a way to hold it. It's on my, on my noodle. <laughs> yep. How bad. That buoyancy is a premium. I've got two noodles. My noodle's fighting your noodle. Fighting? <laughs> oh, no, don't do That's inappropriate. Oh, yeah, sorry. Man. <laughs> well, there's people around. She's like having a sword fight with me, with no, with my noodle. Good grief! Actually, that 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 motion isn't really <laughs> no. PG either. Just quietly. No. I'm drifting off now. What's going on? I just gone. I just gone into the current. <laughs> Ooh. What do they call the EAC? <laughs> Except we're not. We're not on, on the east Ooh. side. Oh, 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 we can't. Of course, I'm going to lose it. It's not full of wine. Sometimes life can be tough And you feel like you just had enough When you're thinking everything is gone wrong Just remember that I'm here to cheer you I wanna pick you up from the ground Let you know that I'm always around Cause I know we can make it Yes, we can make it If we try Keep on trying So we just come back from our Awesome sunset cruise Yeah, it was so good It was way better than I thought it was gonna be Who was the company that, that, that did it? Um, it's through the Discovery Park. I booked it. Yeah, it was basically the big orange boat. It's um, um, so it's just through like G'day Parks, like mm. through Lake Argyle, um, on their website, and we booked it. It was the Sunset Cruise. Mm -hmm. I think it was about one hundred and fifteen dollars a person. Yep. And we had two drinks and afternoon tea included. Yep. Yeah, it was worth it. I'd pay that again. Yeah. Um, and definitely. our captain Ocean. Yes. Um, she was she was a cracker. She was <laughs> she was so funny. She was awesome. I, yeah, I, I really liked her. Um, and ho hopefully, if you go and check it out yourself, that's who you get. Yeah, um, really good. So they pick you up from the caravan park, and the bus driver takes you on a little bit of a tour and gives you some information, and then drops you off at the boat, and the boat takes you around on a tour, and of like maybe. 10% of Lake Argyle because <laughs> it's so freaking huge. huge. Uh, and then, 
Yeah, then you pull up in the middle and have a swim and the sun's going down and have a drink and have some cheese and crackers. And just floating there oh. was pretty damn amazing. And for someone who doesn't like deep water. I know, me. Um, yeah. It was great. really well and she loved it too, didn't you? Oh, it was so great. You, yeah. I don't know. You feel really safe. Yeah. Um, and it's not like you have to worry about trying to get back in the boat or anything. There was lots of steps to climb up. Um, it was so great, beautiful. Absolutely recommend 100%, yeah. worth the money. I reckon 10 out of 10 Yep. for, for an experience. It was just lovely. And I, a good two stars, I reckon, probably goes to the weather, to be honest, like, to be fair. <laughs> we had the Because most the weather was pretty amazing. Weather. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to have some dinner and we'll see you tomorrow. Well, we made it to Lake Argyle. We did. <laughs> Man. It's actually really pretty here. It's, I thought there was just going to be another filled in mine or something that is like dressed up, all zhuzhed up to make it look kind of natural, but it's, I don't know, I, I just didn't think it was going to be as good as it actually is. Yeah. And then you get here and you go, oh, you know what, particularly because we did that sunset cruise last night, Wowzers. Yeah, that was so good. That Definitely was recommend. Brilliant. And such a great experience and the weather was perfect. You couldn't get better. And um and the cruise there was like it was really quiet, so we we had the fortune of not being here during peak period. I know. I think there was only like twelve pe uh, so there was twelve people on the bus when we got picked up. There was probably like another six people. Yeah. On the boat when we got there. But, but the boat can hold what, like? 40? 40 odd people. Yeah. And um, it would have been not quite as pleasant. But it was. But it was definitely pleasant. It was uh, yeah. It was so good. And the, and the captain was um, Ocean, was her name. She was tops. She was actually really funny. Yeah, she was great. Yeah. She was um, good. Yeah, so being here, the park is pretty good. They could really do with another pool. Yeah, I think it's in the works. It's in the works. Like, there's a big development going on uh, planned for, for, for the caravan park. But um, yeah. we're just really happy to be here, actually. Yeah, and we are going to go have a swim in the infinity pool. Mm. Uh, then we're going to go for a drive and check out some stuff. Mm -hmm. So... Get onto it. Get onto it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these two. Hoo -hoo. It's a morning swim, hi. Huh? <laughs> We're just going for a little drive. Uh, we're gonna go across the dam wall, have a look at that. And then there's a part you can go down, there's a park uh, and another boat ramp for small boats. We're not putting the boat in, but we did get told that you can do some fishing from there and you maybe could catch a barramunda. A what? Oh, no. <laughs> a what? A barramundi. So um, we're gonna try a hand at that. Probably not going to catch anything if we're really honest, but we'll take you along anyway. So we had to say that, but we occasionally get lucky. <laughs> there is a fire that's close um, to the, uh, probably not super close, but it is close to the camp. So it's very smoky in the horizon. We will probably try and put the drone up. I can't guarantee how good 
it's all going to look because uh, of the smoke in the horizon. This, this part is the Ord River, um, obviously the dam, the dam wall is there and then Lake Argyle is through there and we have the, the water pumping in to feed the Ord River. When we did the tour yesterday the guy said that this is the first time he's seen all three of the channels open, uh, usually it's just one or two but it is the end of the dry season so they're still pumping more water down the Ord uh, for all the farmers to use it. But man, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We're gonna have a little fish down here, try our luck, see how we go. Um, but yeah, just stunning, absolutely stunning. Mm. Yeah, so fishing was a little bit of a blast. Um, on the tour yesterday, the bus driver was saying that when we got down to the bottom, that not all three outlet pipes were open. Usually, they're usually one, maybe two. There's a fair bit of water that the dams at capacity, so they're letting it through, which is creating quite a current. <laughs> I just tried flicking the lure out, and it just, uh, it took it away from me, which is good. So we can cover more ground, but, um, oh, it just put it straight into the weeds. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't think it's going to do much good there. Classic green, Bianca. Classic green, Bianca. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Everyone else is out here. Catching fish and doing stuff. And <laughs> here I am finding excuses, I guess. I don't know. But um, it does look pretty. It is very, very um, strong, that current. Yeah. We might see if we can find somewhere else. I'll, have a, I'll pull up Wikicam, so I'll see if there's somewhere else that we can go. Uh, there is a little picnic area that we've just driven up to just past where we were, uh, but it's all fenced, so you can't do anything from here. Mm. Um, yeah, I'll pull out Wikicam, so we'll see if there's anywhere else we can go. There is a life I lead in this city to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait Back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. So we've driven up to near the water tank, which is just at the back of the resort. And there's a lookout looking out over Lake Argyle, which is beautiful. I've just walked over to like the information sign because I thought I'll just read some information. What does it say? <laughs> um, I think, I think, I think the national parks might need to um, use some UV proof paint. Uh, unless this is written in magic writing and you need some special thing to be able to read it. But anyway, <laughs> sorry, no information. <laughs> they must figure that no one no one comes up here to have a look anyway. <laughs> but there's toilets. Yeah. But no one comes up here. Anyway. Anyway. 
Let's have a look. It's, a, it's not a bad spot though. Like it's funny how the bus driver for Discovery Parks was saying, "Oh yeah, if you want a good sunset um, vantage point, go up to the um, the water tank, which is a fair bit higher than the actual signed vantage point, which is." Way down there. Which is where the people go, like, because it's signed, but this isn't signed. And it's probably a good thing too, because, oh, I mean, either way, it's a narrow road. At least you can turn around down there. You can't fit, fit too many cars. It might, I reckon you'd be flat out fitting three there and two there and one there. Yeah, it's not big. It's not a big car spot. It just wouldn't be as nice out on the water today because it's just got that little bit of a breeze. Yesterday we got so lucky. There was barely a breeze. Like maybe when we first got there, there was a very gentle breeze. And by the time we have got halfway through putting around the Bay of Islands, it was no breeze, no breeze at all. And then we jumped in the water, dead still. It was magical. So um, it's a big expense of water. You can tuck behind a point or, a, or an island or something uh, just to get out of it. But if you're motoring around, the captain was saying that she's been in two, two and a half metre swell out on the lake. And Bianca was like, how does that even happen? And, well, because it's like, the wind picks it up and pushes it around and it's it, it could get super windy um, inland sea. We're just packing up, we're all hitched. And we had a lady just walk past us who is obviously staying, had booked for another couple of days. And she just asked if we were leaving because of the fire or if we were book, booked to leave anyway. So we were booked to leave anyway. Uh, but apparently she just got a call saying, um, leave now because of the fire or uh, be prepared to leave everything behind if the fire does come any closer. So, yeah, that's interesting for them. Um, we're packed up, ready to go anyway. We're heading into Kununurra. Uh, hopefully the fire doesn't get too close to here. And because everyone here will be in Kununurra. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that also, and because we don't want anybody to be stuck in a fire. I'm not sure if the camera picked that up, but not too... <laughs> It doesn't look like the fire is very far away from the caravan park at all, to be honest.
but all that burnt out stuff wasn't burnt out when we drove in like three days ago. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it was all green, like, like what it is in front of us, all the way in. And then it's just, uh, I think one of the park staff said that it was started by, they heard that it was started by some illegal campers camping on the side of the road or something through here in the bush and um, just really careless, stupid people and just started a fire. I mean, fires aren't un uncommon up here and they're not necessarily life-threatening, but um, and it's, a, it's a way of life up here. Like, look at all the dry grass. It just goes up so quick. It doesn't take much, <clears throat> but wouldn't you hate to be sort of responsible for a, like for a fire? Yeah. Because even when we were camped up on the Pentecost on the Gib, there the first night we were there, there was another two caravans. Well, there's lots of caravans, but there was two grouped further up from us, and they left in the morning, and we went for a walk, and both of their fires were still going. And it's just not right. You have to put your fire out if you're going to put one on. Like, it's it's just not acceptable to leave it burning and drive off from it. And we see it constantly. You know, and where we can, I'll just grab a bucket. I'll probably just use the grey water, usually. Um, and then just put it out for that. But it's, it, it's good use for the grey water. Fire. That's it for this one. Uh, I think that fire at just outside of Lake Argyle uh, was all under control. I never heard anything past that, that people actually had to evacuate. Uh, I did see some people in the Kununurra campground after that that had moved uh, themselves just to make themselves safer. Uh, but I didn't really hear anything saying like everybody had to evacuate. So I think they got it all under control. Next week, we're exploring Kununurra a little bit, uh, so tune in. If you are enjoying our content, please give us a like, subscribe, um, leave us a comment. Let us know if you've been to Lake Gargoyle yourself and if you enjoyed it. And if you want to really help us out, watch some ads. <laughs> you don't have to watch them all the way through, but just, just watch them for a little bit before you press skip. Uh, and that just helps us out a little bit. And thank you. See you in the next one.